Sure. All right. From as we're to continue, I think uh, the power of Fieldy yeah, got. We're, we're going to read from the book of Fieldy. We're reading from Fieldy's Got the Light. Hey, look, it, it's just like the Bible. It is my Bible. It's, it's really, it's, I live my the life Bible, according to Fieldy the Quran, Got the Light. The Torah and the Fieldy book. And then, yeah. Please read from chapter 64. Page 64. Page 64. We needed a name for the band. We decided to take a walk down to the Huntington Beach Pier to brainstorm. What? We tossed a bunch of names around and talked about Benfast Beatles, Faith No More, and several we thought were cool, but we obviously chose not to mention because we couldn't get the rights or whatever. But we figured their names probably didn't sound cool at first, so we decided to take a gamble on a name that didn't sound cool. Um, we wanted a name like that. I don't know who said it, but somebody suggested the name Corn with a C, C O R N. Um, all of us thought it was sounded stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone hated it, Ooh. especially Larry. Who <laughs> <laughs> was our manager at the time? Oh, I thought it was like part of the Garfield crew. We told Larry we were going to use it anyway. What? He was, Larry. He was and saying that there was no way we should use the name Corn with a C. Yeah. Um, he didn't think we'd ever land a record deal with such a dumb name. What a Larry name. Someone know. jokingly told Larry we could always call the band Larry. What? And put his face on the cover of our first album, but that didn't go too well, over too well either. Oh, so the decision was so made. So many things different with this band that would have made me buy it. Like, absolutely love So, the decision was made. We would call ourselves Corn. This is with the C, still. Yeah. As, as a way to make it stand out a little, someone okay. suggested spelling it with the K. Ooh, yes, so a C. It wasn't Larry. Yeah, that's, that's fucking sure. sure. Monkey had the idea to make the R appear backwards so it looked like a little kid drew it. What? We all thought that sounded great. And so, the, the era, era of Corn was born. Fucking Larry. You know what's even scarier? Is I bet behind the paint? Well, I bet behind the paint by Violent J is actually probably better than this book. <laughs> I want to read them all. I want to read the Violent J book. I want to collect them all. Oh, we'll be reading later, more experts. Oh, I gotta add the caption with the oh. site. Guys, we're here for the <laughs> new RSI record. <laughs> Not the new Fieldy record. As much as we love. Uh, Corn with the C. We're uh, here, here for, for the, the new MSI record. So go to this place that this thing and then you can pledge to get the new motherfucking MSI record you can spend one dollar you can spend five thousand dollars you can spend twenty thousand dollars you can spend basically it's kickstarter and I think it's kickstarter is confusing to a lot of people because it's kind of new so what it is is basically you and me are going to make this record we're going to fund you're going to fund the record and then I'm going to take that money, I'm going to manufacture this stuff, and I'm going to send it to you. And that's how this basically works. Now, we have a goal set, $150,000. If we make it to that goal, then everything goes through. The money that's taken, it gets sent to these, these people, the manufacturing people. I, I have to, you know, there's no record company. There's no record company, no manager, no nothing. It's just you and me. And so then we have the t-shirts made, and they get sent to you, and we pay for shipping, we pay for manufacturing, and all this kind of stuff, and it goes through. Now, if for some reason we don't meet the goal, if it's $149,000 and not $150,000, nothing happens. Nobody get, you don't get charged, I don't make t-shirts, nothing gets ordered, and that's the end of that. But if you want to hear the new record, then you've got to make it get to $150,000. Now, at $100,000, we're going to release a demo of one full song off the record, so it's not, it's a demo version, but it's, you know, it's got vocals, it's got all this stuff. It's not just me and an acoustic guitar going, da, 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 da. Adriana, is your dad watching this video? Is your dad watching this chat? I just want to talk to, uh, Rob, uh, Adrian, no, he's a loser. Tell him to come over to the, to the computer, because I just want to talk to him for right, a second. Is, She's trying to convince her dad to donate money oh. to it. So, and again, hey, Adriana, one second. Have your dad come over to the computer and let us know when he's watching. And Rob Tizzle wants to know if any fans stick in your head. Of course. Yeah, different ones. Yeah. Um, no, he's in New York, and I'm in Pennsylvania. All right, yeah, well, just right. let him know that we say hi, and don't worry, we'll take good care of you. And, yeah. you and also, again, for everybody, there's, there's all sorts of different tiers and stuff. Like, for if you have... If you have if, you, if you're the kind of person who would go to a store and buy a CD and you want the new MSI CD, it's very simple. You go in, you 
go to the Kickstarter, you put 25 bucks down, you get the CD, it comes with a digital download, yada yada. Same thing with the vinyl. You can do bundles with the vinyl and t-shirts. You can do crazy one-off things where they're, you know, they're expensive, but they're one of a kind, like Steve's custom guitar, Lindsay's custom bass, stuff like that. But if you are a super fucking cheapskate and you got, or you're, you're really hurting for money in this day and age, that literally for as little as one fucking dollar, we'll just give you no fringe, no, you know, no, just the simple, here it is, just the MP3s, no big deal, no PDFs, no lyrics, no nothing, no artwork, here it is, just the record, if you want, the one dollar. Now, I think that's, I mean, that's pretty simple. You know? And if you already have pledged and you want to help hit the goal so you can get your record and everything, yeah. then all you can really do is spread the spread Kickstarter the link. That yeah. really helps. So go get tell your all friends your friends. Do it get, or put you know, it up. Or whatever. Post it. So if you can't afford that three thousand dollars base, yeah, maybe, maybe someone else can. can. And, and, right. or even, you can borrow it. and the thing, and here's let's just do some math here. At the at the very least, if about two thousand five at this point, about two thousand five hundred people just bought the CD, like just the CD, like two thousand five hundred. Plunk down 25 bucks for just the fucking CD, no nothing else, we would reach our goal. Which to me, like, 2,500 kids, like, I've played the places that hold 5,000 fucking MSI kids. If half that joint bought this into the Kickstarter, we'd be way past our fucking goal at this point. So to me, I think, just get the CD. If you want, an, if you want a new record to exist, then it, it really only takes people to just buy the CD and dump. It's such you an know? awesome idea. And again, we're giving people extra incentives if they want, and there's, you can throw a t-shirt in there. And again, a lot of this stuff is exclusive to this Kickstarter. The t-shirt, you're never going to get after this Kickstarter. And if it, this Kickstarter doesn't happen, it's never going to be made. I'm not going to make that t-shirt. Hold on, we're going to call We're gonna call somebody. Ooh, who we call? We're calling um, Mrs. Pennycrumb, Katie. Who's it? won the contest. Oh, she won my contest. I like it. So switching from MSI for a second. Okay. So Chantal was playing in Vegas, and there was a contest to come and see her in Vegas. And Hello. Hello, Katie! Hi. <laughs> What's going on? I am a little drunk. I apologize. I think I need to catch up. How are you doing? I like her AKA, by the way. That's a, what? Nice, yeah. a great cat name. She said, hey, call Katie, AKA. Miss Penny Crumb. Um, how are you doing? Are you excited that you won the contest? I am so excited. I cannot wait to see you. I've been trying to see this show for so long. What, and did, what date is it for? The contest, and I was like, I have it's to the win this. 30th. Oh my God. And I heard that this is your first plane flight <laughs> ever. What? It is. That's it's my first fucking amazing. How old are you? It's my first time. Wait, so, wait, where do you live? We're not going out of the country. You mean out of the state? A state. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. So, well, I was like, where do I play? Where do you live? Where, where do you live? Uh, Michigan. That's awesome. Uh, I'm so happy that, well, are you are you going by yourself? How old are you? Um, 24. And you're going by yourself? No. My brother is coming with me. Me happy that you're going to Las Vegas, not by yeah. Yourself. I don't want you to get in trouble. That's um, oh, I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm so excited. She told me she was, you're gonna be filming the sex trafficking, you can't go. <laughs> no, yeah. I actually, I don't get scared by this, but I heard there is actually a lot of sex trafficking in Las Vegas. I think it's just a lot of sex in Las Vegas. There's a lot of sex and traffic, and traffic. It's, it's just yeah, it's, it's just um, I'm so excited to meet you, and we're gonna meet and hang out for a little while. And I, I'm so happy that you won that contest, and I couldn't think of you know, I'm, I'm. I'm so happy you get to take your first plane flight to yeah, come and cool. see me. So and, and go to Las Vegas. That's fucking crazy. You're going to be so overwhelmed because it's not anything. It's a crazy place. It's really cool. And you're staying at the hotel and at the Hard Rock, and that's really fucking cool. You're going to love it. I love it there. I'm so excited. I'm over the moon. I'm, oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. That's so awesome. I can't wait to see you and give you a big, big hug. And I'll bring you a present, too, for winning. Yeah. I will. That's I will. Girl she is. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, thank you, and thank you for winning the contest yeah. and entering and for spreading the word about everything. And I can't, can't wait to meet you. And make sure, please, you know, uh, like whatever, just uh, contact me, whatever, with anything you want. All right. Well, thank you. Have a wonderful yes, evening. Yes, thank you. Congratulations on your first plane. And uh, don't. It's just turbulence. Yeah. No planes ever crash. <laughs> right, totally right. And they serve stuff on the plane. Yeah, get some water, some chips, and all that jazz. And you're going to love the Hard Rock. It's a wonderful yeah, hotel. Yeah, Hard Rock's cool. All right, we'll see you soon in a couple weeks. All right.
All right. All right. Talk to you next time. Bye, Bye I'm just going to call her Penny Crumb. You can call her Katie because I know you're very I'll beautiful. be like, hello, Mrs. Penny Crumb. Yeah, Mrs. Penny Crumb is like somewhere between. Just no. pledge. Go, Adriana McCoy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so is everybody pledging for the MSI yes. Kickstarter? Need, this is the site? This is what you want. Then you better to pledge or it will go away and you'll be stuck with nothing because babies. You got the pledge. Um. Okay, so, you know, I think uh, he's pledging. No, one, it's not. Katie's pledging tomorrow. Cool. Uh, somebody will be pledging. Um, and again, when we reach... Uh, Rob Tidwell pledged. Nice. When we reach 100,000 in our goal, we'll, uh, we will release a demo. And again, you know, also, if you don't have any money right the second, you can pledge now and, and pay, pay later. later. So make sure you can do that. So yeah. as long as that's just you promising to pay that amount. Yeah. So make sure that you will have that money in the next, what yeah. is it, 40 days. Yeah. And 40 days to go, bitters. And then you're good. So uh, how's it going? Where are we at? Uh, I think. Here, I'm refreshing. I have 8,697. We have the same number. Let's get up to 81,000. Yeah, man. Come on. 81,000. If I pledge $100 now, would you call me? What do you It's up to you first. It's up to you, man. Yeah, I'll call somebody if they pledge. I'm going to smoke. I'll drink. call whoever if they pledge. You're going to smoke, you smoke. Are you having a drink? No, did you want me to have a drink? It's up to you. We don't really have any in my booth here, so. No? No, it's, all, it's all? all vodka. They, they haven't been my booth here forever. Is it like Jameson or any kind of brown stuff there? Wow, you look really great in that dress. So I was watching my my wife's ass as she walked away from me. There's nothing in here? No, there hasn't been stuff in there for me ages. I think even like two weeks before I split, I was like... There's champagne. There's champagne? Well, now I've been to France, champagne is all It's like a super fancy champagne, too. I hate champagne. <laughs> I'm not a champagne girl. I hate champagne. <laughs> That's a ch I'm drunk up a one and a half. I know. Let's see what else we got. Man, I got way too much stuff here from Russia. Oh.